In the last session of our legislature, significant changes were made to the spousal support provisions of the Family Code. Uh, the A word, alimony, which has been disfavored in Texas for many, many years, is a, on a very limited basis, uh, you know, three years, $2,500 a month, has been uh, changed and expanded somewhat dramatically. If there is sufficient property to uh, take care of any of the needs of the parties and a minimal basic monthly income uh, through assets, these provisions do not apply. However, there has been an expansion in the situation where the property is insufficient for minimal needs of a spouse. If family violence is involved, the three years has been expanded to five years if the parties were married less than 10 years. Uh, spousal support can be awarded up to five years for marriages from 10 to 20 years, seven years in uh, regard to marriages of 20 years but less than 30 years, and 10 years of spousal support can be awarded if the marital union lasted over 30 years. Uh, if there is a physical disability uh, of the spouse or of the children, uh, support can be awarded indefinitely until the court can make a determination that the disability is no longer there or that there's sufficient property to take care of the children. The most significant change that I think is if there are children that are disabled mentally or physically and I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck with garden variety issues such as attention deficit disorder or dyslexia. But if there are more pronounced problems which require the mother or the father to be home where they cannot earn sufficient income to take care of these kids and afford minimal expenses to live that are necessary and reasonable, they can be awarded alimony or spousal support indefinitely. The court has retained a general principle, however, the conservative, typical, and standard Texas policy that it's going to be the least amount necessary to accord the needs of the parties in the particular circumstance of disability or need. Additionally, the court will has leave to terminate support at any time if those needs no longer exist. I do believe, though, that the courts and the statute indicate and will support the basic policy of this state for many years, that the court is going to consider the least amount of time that is reasonable and the least amount of money that is necessary to accord that minimal standard until the detriment or standard uh, that is unattainable is accorded by employment or medical correction of the disability. Nay, call law firm, may I help you?